Today's Chiefs report is presented by True Classic Tees, the most comfortable t-shirts for males of all sizes. It's going to show off the best part of the bodies, whether you're rocking a six-pack or you got a beer gut like me. True Classic Tees are awesome. Get them today for 25% off at trueclassictees.com slash chat. That slash chat is going to get you the 25% off when you check out. All right, on today's show, two preseason games are in the books. So I'm going to do an updated 53-man roster projection, see what the 53 could look like uh, here in the next week or so, because on August 30th, the Chiefs have to trim down 253. Obviously, uh, on Tuesday the 23rd here, uh, the Chiefs will go from 85 to 80. A couple of players have already been cut, but uh, a couple more to go. Uh, but then the big one is next week. Uh, might do one more roster projection after this third preseason game, so be out on the lookout for that. All right, we'll go position by position here. Quarterback, very simple, just keeping two. Patrick Mahomes, Chad Henney, Shane Bouchelle, keep him on the practice squad. Hopefully he doesn't get poached, but I just look at this, and I know a couple of things. Obviously, Mahomes is the starter, MVP candidate, all that. They know what they have in Chad Henney. They trust him. I just don't think Shane Bouchelle has done quite enough. Could that change in this third and final preseason game? I don't know. Part of that could depend on how many key players the Packers play, because if it's a bunch of scrubs playing and Bouchelle lights it up, what does that really say? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I would, hell, I'd play Shane Bouchelle the entire third preseason game, see what he does, uh, give him that opportunity, and maybe that's what they will do, but I just, if I had to guess right now, he's probably between roster spot 54 and 60. I think he's on the outside looking in because you don't have to carry three quarterbacks. We'll see what happens, but I think right now he would not make the team. What do you guys think? Will Shane Bouchel make the Chiefs 53-man roster? Type one for yes, type two for no. Get your votes in down in the comment section. Will the third string quarterback make the 53? Let's go to running back here. Three backs plus a fullback. Clyde Edwards-Alaire is the starter. Jarrett McKinnon, Isaiah Pacheco in the mix as well. Fullback Michael Burton. I've been saying it for weeks, and I'll continue to say it here. Ronald Jones is not going to make this football team, barring a last-minute change here. I don't think he makes it. I think Derek Gore gets cut also. I think he'll likely return to the practice squad. He showed some good things last year. He's been okay in the preseason, but I don't think Rojo's in the mix. I really don't at this point. I, in fact, if you're going to keep a fourth, I'd rather keep Derek Gore because he's a young, improving player. Ronald Jones has been a disappointment. There's simply no doubt about that. So I don't think he's going to be on this team. I do think Derek Gore could return to the practice squad, but three backs and a fullback. That's where I'm sitting right now. Let's go to receiver here. I got six players making it. Juju Smith-Schuster. Uh, he's all business in that photo, by the way. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Sky Moore, McCole Hardman, Justin Watson. He is a lock. And then Darius Fountain, who's firmly on the bubble. He's got special teams value. Uh, he's done some decent things at receiver in the preseason also. I think they keep six. I think those are the six they keep. Guys like Josh Gordon get cut. Um, Cornell Powell get cut. I'd like to see one or both of those guys return to the practice squad. But I think these are the six that they're going to roll with. Top five are locks. We'll see if Fountain makes it as well. Tight end as we continue with our Chiefs 53-man roster projection. Uh, I think it's simple. I think it's these four. I think they carry four, and I think it's these four. Travis Kelsey as the starter. Blake Bell is, you know, one of your better blockers. Can also do that sneaky QB sneak play that they run from time to time. Decent pass catcher as well. Jody Fortson, who has just emerged as a legitimate red zone weapon. And then Noah Gray, uh, second-year player, who had a nice game uh, the other day against uh, the Commanders. I think all four are safe. I think this is actually probably the easiest position group to figure out. Now fill in the blank. There's a lot of hype around Jody Fortson right now. Jody Fortson will have blank touchdowns this year. Four, five? He had two the other day in one quarter against the Commanders. I wouldn't rule it out, him being a big part of the red zone offense this year. So fill in the blank for us. How many touchdowns do you think Jody Fortson will have this season? Told you guys about True Classic Tees off the top. I'm rocking one today. What they offer compared to other t-shirt companies is best fitting shirts for males of all sizes. You got a six pack, you're a bodybuilder type of uh, looking person. Hey, these shirts are great for you. You like me, you're big and tall and you have trouble finding shirts that fit your size. Hey, this shirt's very comfortable. It's got the tri-blend with 50% cotton, 40% poly, 10% another material as well. Cause I hate those pure cotton tees. These are much more comfortable. And what's cool about True Classic Tees as well, 
they go they offer bundles with really good deals this nine pack less than fourteen dollars per t-shirt so hey go get a bunch of them nine bucks for just over a hundred or nine tees for just over a hundred bucks different colors you're good to go you can rock one every single day throughout the week they're good looking they're simple they're clean and uh, they're very very comfortable and they're going to show off the best looking parts of your body get 20 for 25 percent off today at trueclassictees.com slash chat that link will be in the comments and in the description one more time it's trueclassictees.com slash chat very comfortable t-shirts for all males all right let's go to the offensive line here uh nine players making it i think this will be your opening starting five orlando brown joe tooney creed humphrey trey smith those four will for sure start i think andrew wiley's pretty safe to start at right tackle with lucas niang still out i've got jaron christian as kind of the swing tackle darian Kennard can play some tackle or guard the rookie out of kentucky austin Ryder is a backup center and the nick allegretti is kind of your swing guard there also lucas niang i think starts the year on the pup list that means he'll miss the first four weeks, and then hopefully he can get back and healthy, and then by then you'd have to make another roster uh, maneuver to get him onto the active 53. But I think you carry nine initially, and then we'll see what happens when Niang is healthy. Defensive line now as we go to the other side of the football here. Ten players, uh, Frank Clark, Derek Nottie, Chris Jones, George Karloftis, uh, Carlos Dunlap, who's been dealing with the sore Achilles, but he's obviously going to make the team. Michael Dana is in there as well. Danny Shelton, who recently signed, I think he's safe. Tershawn Wharton's definitely safe. Kalen Saunders, I think, has earned a roster spot. Joshua Kando, uh, he hasn't shown a lot, but I'll sneak him in there. Malik Herring could be in the mix as well. But I think Saunders has done enough in this preseason to make the 53-man roster. Coming in to training camp, I thought he was on the outside looking in, but he has flashed in both preseason games. He's looked good in camp. Taylor Stallworth is another veteran defensive tackle that could make this squad, but I'd rather go young, keep Saunders. Year four for him, we told told you guys he's on the hot seat, but I think he's, he's, he's rosen to the occasion here. I think he's going to make the 53. Let's go to linebacker now. Five players. Uh, I think this one's actually pretty straightforward as well. Willie Gay Jr., Nick Bolton, Elijah Lee, Darius Harris, Leo Chanel. Chanel, the rookie, he's fighting for that starting job at Sam. Elijah Lee's held on to it during camp so far. Uh, Darius Harris is a core special teamer. I think he's going to make this roster. Bolton and Gay are going to be your two primary guys. There you go. That's linebacker. Pretty cut and dry. Subscribe to the channel if you want daily Chiefs videos for free. All you got to do, hit that big red subscribe button. That's it. That's all you do. You click it, boom, you're done. Uh, free videos coming at you every single day. No charge. Just hit that subscribe button. All right, uh, let's go to the secondary now. Cornerback here. Six players uh, here. Rashad Fenton, Trent McDuffie, Legereus Sneed. That's probably going to be your starters, although Josh Williams and Jalen Watson are pushing, and Fenton's been in and out of the lineup with uh, an injury. Uh, Chris Lammons, core special teamer, had a nice interception uh, in the, uh, the game the other day as well. If you have to play him in the secondary, uh, that's okay. He's good on special teams as well. I like this group. I think it's a good group. Uh, obviously, there will be some growing pains with these young players, but uh, uh, Sneed and Fenton have been here for a few years. McDuffie, Williams, and Watson have looked really good in their first training camp. Head over to safety now. Uh, I've got four, maybe a fifth could make it. Maybe Nazi Johnson is a corner safety hybrid. Seventh round pick out of Marshall uh, could sneak in there. But I've got Juan Thornhill and Justin Reed as the starters. Deion Bush, who's a score, core special teamer and can uh, uh, play on the back end as well. Then Brian Cook, uh, the uh, second round pick out of Cincinnati. Four safeties, that is it. And then special teams, really simple. Harrison Butker, Tommy Townsend, James, Win James Winchester. That's your kicker, your punter, and your long snapper. Add it all up. You got 53 players, and I feel pretty good about it. I'd say I have at least 50 of them figured out with a couple of spots like a Joshua Kando in the, uh, on, the, uh, on the bubble, maybe one of those receivers. But uh, I think uh, 50, 51 spots probably already been decided. All right, there you go. Grade my 53-man roster projection on today's show, A, B, C, D, or F. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Drop a letter grade. I'll be reading your comments down in the comment section.